play anybody except Luigi in singles, at least. I, I know he plays Sonic in doubles every once in a while. Let's see, how's doubles grand finals going? Um, I know Lucky Wind Burp did take the game off stock really high, but I did not see the set count. Right, so. We can just say it's still happening. It's still happening. A lot of teams here were a bit scrambled. And why is why is Landon running Bowser Jr. instead of Sonic? It actually has been working better. No, I played against it, and it, it you know, it's good. He he has a good Bowser Jr. I think. In his set against um, Stiggers and Lily, they um, they actually lost. Ray, when first raise your Sonic. hand. Really? And then they brought it back really ev hard. Everyone has played Blood Sonic Ray. so much. No one plays Bowser Jr. Ray. Stiggers knows Kai. So, yeah, kind of a big mystical liar going with Luigi, and we're going to see Bean's Bayonetta. Yeah, Bayonetta. Are you Roy? I'm Roy. I actually have you down as Trey. It looks like an A on the paper. Come on, my bad. Trey, well, you've been doing my job for a year. All right, so going to game one. Apple, game started. Yeah. Help us out here a little, please. <laughs> All right, um, so I Thank think you. so. Luigi's going to look for these grabs really early just to kind of get his bread and butter combo, but I don't know exactly how fast Bayonetta can witch time out of those combos. Um, you know, that, that's going to be kind of an interesting thing to see, and, and she's going for it right away. And Bean actually um, staying away a little bit from uh, Bayonetta's usual bread and butter. And knowing that the uh, side B out of Bayonetta is usually pretty difficult to see, and the easy shield, even though went to shield it as well. And yeah. So you get for it. And Mystic going for the up B, but he only gets one coin. Didn't quite get all the launch money, but he does give him the chop chop. Yeah, Bayonetta already down a stock. We aren't even a minute in. Yeah. But of course, you know, if anyone can take stocks out really quick, it's Bayonetta for combo potential. Is there, and this would be the Dude, start of it. Yeah, there's a wish time, no follow up from that. Yeah. I know in Double C he was struggling with that a little bit as well. Or he would get a wish time of somebody, but like his best follow up is like a jab. Yeah. Yeah, that he would get interrupted. Yeah, and, and you know, I, I, it feels to me like Beam is really kind of feeling the pressure from Mystic, who's, who's a much more experienced player. And is able to dictate kind of what's going on in this match pretty easily. And Bean is allowing him to do that for a lot of it because one of the things you don't want to do with Luigi is be too close to him. And Bayonetta definitely has the tools in her set to keep Luigi at a distance. Right, her back air, down tilt, that's all really good potential spacing that she can have. Um, not to mention you can, ooh, wow, nice down, forward smash, tilted down. Um, but, you know, Bayonetta can also use her pistols to draw Luigi in a little bit more and just kind of create a zone that Luigi has to stay in instead of charging in too much and letting Luigi really have control of the space. Yeah, because you're going right into his territory if you're approaching Luigi like that. He doesn't really have that kind of reach that most other characters do. Right. But he does have a lot of kill power. No, I added Combo because it's Steven, but then I dropped it because it didn't make sense. No, Lilac's always on there. Mystic actually switches to Bowser. Did he? All right. Yeah. Cool. He's not as big a liar as we thought. I still consider him to be a liar for not going Bowser game one. Yeah, you know what? You're right. At any rate, and using, for game two. And you know what? Since he's a liar, we're going to say he's probably using the ugliest color Bowser, I think. And it is part of Bowser's character to lie. Yeah. <laughs> Deceit and stealing princesses. That's all he's got. Well, yeah, uh, usually Bowser lies to make himself look good, though. Really? Kind of good... Uh, in and out weaving that Mystic was doing to bait in Beam. Um, and, and these up throw combos are really starting to rack up damage quick. Especially right. since Bean has been getting very predictable just attacking into Mystic's shield. Yeah, and when we talk about like a kill threshold, Bowser's going to kill so much earlier than uh, Bayonetta would be able to. So having the pursuance like this is really problematic for Bayonetta. Ooh, Bowser way too far off the stage here. He's going to get boosted for that. Yeah. Gonna lose that stock pretty early. Yep. Gonna answer the board smash. Yeah. Caught a roll there. Kind of landed right into him. And I mean, we're even here. Yeah, but Bean is gonna take this. He's gonna need to actually be a lot more careful with his approach. Yeah, absolutely. Been very reckless. Has been getting him hit in a lot of ways where Mystic didn't really have to 
do much work for other than to wait. Yeah, it's just so direct. Like when he, he starts to move forward, you can know pretty much guaranteed that he is going to be attacking in some way uh, rather than having like any movement mix-ups or options like that. Yeah, another time where he just attacks with the mystic shield and he's just seeing a lot of damage. Yeah. And, and, you know, that's surprising because Bayonet is a character that really excels, I think, in crossing up shields and exerting pressure that way. And that's the SD right there. Uh, quick 2 0 by Mystic. You can get a nice foot stool uh, given there, but Mystic is going to. Mystic was pretty much in control for most of that, and he pretty much allowed it to happen. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't feel like. I don't feel like at any point Mystic was really concerned about losing that match. We've got the 